All right, class of 2025. Good evening. My name is Mr. Lazavich. Welcome to our um, virtual freshman parent night. Uh, I'm here in our academic resource center, very much lonely and, and by myself. I wish we could do this uh, together, but we can't, unfortunately. So I'd like to introduce Mr. James Ontango. He is our superintendent of schools here for Fenton High School. He has a quick um, review for you. And then Ms. Roberts is also on this. Uh, she's our assistant principal. Uh, and she's also in charge of our counseling department. Uh, she's here as well, and we'll go through some, some items for you. There is a Q&A box. If you have any questions as we go along, please go ahead and uh, type any questions in there. I, we'll be happy to try and answer them at the end. If we do not um, get your question answered, please email myself, Mr. Um, Ms. Roberts, Mr. Ontango, or anybody else, uh, any of our administrators will be happy to help you with that. So Mr. Ontango, if, take it away. You're on mute, Mr. Ontango. And that's why he's the principal, uh, to keep the superintendent uh, in check. Welcome, Bienvenido, class of 2025. Again, my name is James Ontango, superintendent of Fenton. In August, you will be a, uh, a Fenton Bison. Uh, we will welcome you and make you feel here uh, at home here at Fenton. Our teachers are awesome and friendly, and they cannot wait to meet each and every one of you. When you are at, uh, when you become a Bison, we encourage you to join a sports team or a club, try out for the fall or spring plays, take French, German, or Spanish classes, take autos, gaming, or technical drafting classes, volunteer. Uh, one example is at our food pantry, and do your best, build positive relationship be kind to everyone and be open to different possibilities. But the most important thing is to have fun. We can't wait to see and meet each and every one of you. Let's go Bison. Thank you, Mr. Ontango. Uh, one of the items that Mr. Ontango just uh, referenced is a uh, choir for us. Uh, recently we had, within the last five to six years, we actually had a song of Bison Pride commissioned for us. So we'd like to play that for you and just show you some of the talents that we have here, as well as some things, that, uh, some other options for you to get involved with. stars shaping our futures no holds barred making memories recording our lives till the time is up on us when we have a
As you can see, extremely talented uh, students that we have here at Fenton High School. We're extremely proud of who they are. Again, my name is Jovan Nazarovic. I'm the privileged principal of Fenton High School. Uh, this is my fourth year. Uh, some of the things that we'd like to talk to you about is um, we're here for you. Uh, we want to make sure that we can help you any along, uh, along the way. Uh, I'm not only uh, a principal and an educator, but this coming year, I will be a parent of a uh, a class of 2025, not here at this high school, but so I understand the angst that's going on. And uh, for those of you that says this is your first child coming through here. Uh, so we are here to help. We wanna make sure that you have everything that you need. Uh, we're always available. So one of the things I'd like to talk to you about is our administration. Um, Mr. Ontango, who you uh, just met, uh, Ms. Roberts, who, who you also just met, and she'll uh, talk about some things here as we go forward. Ms. Papa Nicolau is our director of curriculum. Uh, she does our teaching and learning within the building. She, she handles that. We have a, a director of special education, uh, Ms. Nancy Coleman. And all this can be found, by the way, at, on Fenton100.org uh, as we go forward. Um, so Ms. Uh, Ms. Coleman is uh, our director of special education. We have division leaders that oversee certain departments within our building. Uh, we have Mr. Caranda. Uh, he oversees our business, our physical education department. Um, we have and our world languages. Uh, we have Mr. Augustine. He does our STEM, so he does our applied tech, family consumer science, math and science programs. And then we have Mrs. Ward, who oversees our humanities portion of it. Uh, she does our uh, EL program as well as our uh, English and social studies. Um, Mr. Caranda also oversees our fine arts program. So um, there, there are instructional leaders within that area. We have our deans of students, uh, Mr. Castro and Mr. Mato. Um, they work with us instructionally as well as dealing with students, uh, any concerns that you have, whether it's attendance or anything else going on uh, within that system. So those are some of the things that, that we are, those are some of our deans. We have um, a big thing that we talk about here and unfortunately, you know, through COVID, uh, we're, we've been struggling with making sure that we have um, things going on, but we have a lot of activities that are still happening during COVID. Um, we have sports that are conducting uh, via Google Meets and Zoom. Uh, we have activities that are actually competing. Our speech team is, will be competing in a, in a form of a state competition, but we have a lot of activities in athletics uh, that are going on here. So here's a couple of videos from some of our uh, other administrators uh, that are working with students within activities in athletics. Hello, my name is Mark Koss. I am the Assistant Athletic and Activities Director at Fenton High School. I'd like to take this opportunity to not only welcome you to Fenton High School, but to also encourage you to take part in the many athletic and activity opportunities that we offer at Fenton. If you have any questions regarding what athletic programs or activities we offer, all information can be found on our Fenton website at www.fenton100.org. And once we're back in person, please feel free to stop down in the Athletic Activities Office. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to point you in the right direction. And again, just want to encourage you to participate as much as you can. We have something to offer for everyone. Have a great day. and Go Bison. Hello, welcome to our virtual parent night here at Fenton for our incoming freshmen. I'm Todd Becker, Director of Activities and Athletics at Fenton. I just wanted to let you know we have 26 sports to choose from and we offer uh, over 30 clubs and activities for students to choose from. We encourage all students to get involved, stay involved, and challenge yourselves. You will learn more about each club and activity and our sports teams during our athletics and activities fair in April. Go Bison. Thank you, Mr. Koss and Mr. Becker. Um, so as you can see, there's something for everybody here at Fenton High School. And if there isn't, come and find us. We'll try to figure out a way. Uh, we currently have um, some students that are asking for instance american ninja warrior club uh, we have a dungeons and dragons club that we're starting so we are looking at anything any way to get our students involved um, classes from 8 until 3 15 but this high school continues to buzz till almost nine o'clock every single night so um, always look for opportunities to get involved we encourage that uh, next, our Power School portal, where you can see your uh, classes, that will be open here soon. And Ms. Uh, Roberts will talk about that. 
one of the things that I highly encourage you to do is to check your students' power school grades, um, but don't do it every single day. Um, you know, once a week, once every other week, uh, looking at every single grade is not going to be uh, good on, on uh, for you as well as your mental health. Again, I told you that I, I have an eighth grader that's going in. Once a week, my wife and I, we take a look at and see where, where they're at to, just so that we know what their progress is. So definitely check the power school grades and contact teachers if you have anything, um, any concerns. We're here to support you. Uh, if you take a look at Fenton 100 and you find our, our emails on there, please email us. Uh, we have Fenton Help. Uh, right now as well. Anything that any questions that you have, we're happy to answer and we're happy to make sure that, that you get the right answer. If we can't answer it immediately, we'll send you to the person that, that can answer that. So we are here to support you in any way that we can for our class of 2025. Welcome, welcome, welcome class of 2025. We are so excited to have you. I wish like Mr. Lazadovich said that we could be in person to greet you and meet you. Um, but until that day comes, we hope that you enjoy our presentation tonight. And we get to know you a little bit and you get to know what Fenton has to offer you. We had a student, Carly, Car Carolina Rosas, the class of 2022, leave us with a few quotes here. So I'll read you just a few so you have some idea of what inspiration she has for our incoming freshmen. Be honest with yourself. Do not take class just because your friend will. Chances are you won't end up in the same period. Be stuck in a class and you may not enjoy. That's really good advice because as my office is over in the counseling office, a lot of kids come down to change their classes because they didn't get in the right period with their friend. Another great piece of advice that Carolina gave us was when people said that high school went by fast, I didn't believe them, but now I wish I did. Enjoy every moment and don't stress yourself out too much. I unfortunately learned that a little too late. So as you continue to join us at Fenton, some of the things you wanna know about are graduation. Yeah, your eighth grade coming in as a freshman, we're gonna talk about graduation from day one. You need 45 credits. You'll earn credit by making sure that you work really hard in your classes, try your best, and always ask for help. So to do that, you're gonna take some English classes, math classes, a biology, intro to social, PE, lunch, and a few elective courses. Your elective courses are going to be what you will pick in a few weeks, and I'll get into that in just a minute. Lastly, for graduation, you'll also need community service. So we'll keep you posted as to how that's going, depending on the state of the world, but you will need some community service that is vetted through Ms. Bonin's office, and we'll talk more about that, and you'll need to get a few every year. So 45 credits to graduate, 25 hours community service, and during your freshman year, you'll have a core, a core group of classes and a few electives that you get to pick. As you continue to think about what classes you want, the counselors will be over, and I believe they already went to one of our feeder schools where they kind of gave you a course overview. In addition to that, they will be coming back where they will be meeting with each student to select those classes. You will be picking two elective classes, so whether that's choir and band, art, whether you want to take a business class, there are so many choices of what you can take as a freshman. There are lots and lots of opportunities. So think about that career path and where you want to go, and you will be talking with a counselor in the next 10 days to make those decisions for next year. So it's coming up quick, so begin to think about it. If you aren't sure, please visit the Fenton website and you can find our course selection, uh, and you can look through all of those um, opportunities that we offer so you can get a better feel for what classes you, uh, you can choose when you meet with your counselor. Parents, some of you are probably thinking, you know what, I'm not really sure about what classes my child should take. We have an option for you. Our counselors will provide some afternoon and evening hours so you can have a 20 minute virtual appointment with a counselor to touch base about what those courses look like and how to select them for next year so they can help you with those decisions as well. This year, we were unable to complete the PSAT 8-9 due to the pandemic, and we're sorry we didn't have a chance to see you and greet you and welcome you by taking a test at Fenton. So I'm sure some of the students are not 
too upset about that, but it is a really important test where we, it helps place you in the right classes. But District 2-7 and the other feeder schools have just been fantastic. They've really helped provide us the data we need uh, about how you're doing at your feeder schools, how hard you're working, and the teachers at the feeder schools have said such amazing and wonderful things about your work ethic and your ability. So we are super thrilled to be getting this class of 2025. With that, um, we will provide you your student login around February 12th. We'll mail those out so you'll get them within the week following. And that will kind of tell you what classes you've been, so what classes you've selected or been assigned to. So if there's any specialty classes or depending on your level of English or math or all of those details, you can find that out after that February 12th date when you log in through the parent or the student portal of our PowerSchool um, application. So that is where you'll find out those details. If you're not sure after that date you wanna know or you think maybe that wasn't the right placement, Two of our division leaders can help you with that, Brian Augustine and Kate Ward. They can help in identify and talk to you about how those students were placed in that decision, and you can talk to them about those details if you still have remaining questions. So some details you want to know. What upcoming events should you write down in your calendars? If you're like me, the book starts and it already gets going for the whole year. So July 5th, that's when our PowerSchool registration portal will open. Probably sometime around that week, we will mail you a hard packet with your parent username and login and all those details, and you're going to log into the website and register. That is required for you to do that um, as you come into Fenton as a student of ours. For freshmen, we would like to do a first day orientation. It'll be just before school starts. We anticipate August 6th. More details will be forthcoming as that day approaches. The tentative first day of school will be August 11th, so we'll keep you posted, but we anticipate that's when we're going to open up school next year, so we're very excited about that. The next time that we will come together will be April 19th for our athletics and activity fair, and a lot of students get excited about that day because that's when you can talk to the coaches, find out when tryouts are, find out what clubs we have to offer, and all of those good details. And lastly, we will be having some summer school opportunities, so we'll keep you posted later in April about what those opportunities are. Some students will ask you um, to attend by invitation and others you can sign up if there's something available that is of interest. Otherwise, we look very much forward to having the class of 2025. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And for this evening, thank you to everyone who has joined us. If you want to jump back over to our um, athletics, or, or I'm sorry, over to our Fenton website in just a minute, you can go ahead and jump into the elective fairs where you'll have teachers that will be live and you can talk to them about those elective courses and things of that sort. If they don't have a live link, they will have an email where you can get in touch with them. But I think right now, Mr. Lazadovich and I will stay on and answer a few questions. Thank you so much for your time, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you, we're excited about the class of 2025. Again, we'll stay on for a couple minutes here. If you have any questions, we'll try to answer them, either uh, sending it directly to you if there's any questions, or uh, if it's for a question for the whole, we'll go ahead and, um, and just uh, say it out loud.